So good morning once again. What we're going to do, as I mentioned, is mail merge. Ah, uh, mail merge is most often used to print or email from letters to multiple recipients. Okay. So using mail merge, you can easily customize form letters for individual recipients. Mail merge is also used to create envelopes or labels in bulk. Okay. So of course, what we're going to do first is to create a document. Uh, even you have a document already, or if you don't have a document. Uh, so this time, I have a sample document here, uh, wherein uh, the Philippine Society of Eight Educators inviting, no? uh, inviting the deans, the faculty for the upcoming, for example, uh, assuming that's 2020, uh, conference for IT educators. For example, we have a letter like this. Okay, so therefore, for us to start doing, a, since uh, we have a lot of deans and uh, faculty no, for the entire Philippines, and you are going to invite uh, all of them to attend the conference, so therefore, you need to create an individual letter for them. But uh, for us to make it easier no, and faster, we are allowed to use the mail, mail merge. Okay, so first step for us to do right after creating our letter. So what will be the next? So in, in menu, actually, we have mailing here mailings no so mailings still waiting okay Right after clicking mailings, you will be able to see the envelopes. So, for example, even if you wanted to print an envelope, no different and en uh, envelopes for an invitation for different people, mail merge is also the best uh, tools, no, for you to create or to print a, a lot of envelopes using mail merge. Okay. So as you can see here, sending mail, you'll need to envelope. You can choose the size, format, the addresses, and add electronic post postage. Of course, even labels. And as you can see here, we have start mail merge or select recipients. So when we say select recipients, choose the list of people you'd like to send your documents to. You can type a new list using the existing one or select Outlook contacts. So if you have a contacts already, uh, or if you have a database already of your uh, targeted, no, targeted uh, recipients of your mail or your letters, uh, you just simply click this one. Or if you have already a Microsoft Excel file no, for your uh, targeted recipients, so you just click this one. But by this time, we're going to start our mail merge. Click start. Then as what we have here, as I mentioned, we have letters, emails, envelopes, label, directory, normal Word document, or a step-by-step -step mail merge. Okay. So since we have a letter already, What we're going to do is to choose the choose the letter letters. Then
when you send the letters actually to a group of people, you can personalize the letter that each person receives. So, Okay, so what we're going to do right after you have a letter, click step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. So it display at the left side, no, up the right side rather. So we have what type of documents, email messages. Okay, then next step or starting document. Okay, click natin to. Then use an existing list. So since we don't have list, what we're going to do is to type a new list. We don't have a, a list, right? This will be our first time to create our mail merge. So type a new list. Just type a new list here. Then at the bottom, type the names and recipient and address of the, re of the recipient. So before that, what we're, we're, what we're going to do is to type what we wanted to replace here. So for example, with this one, name, of course. Name, uh, position, address, uh, institution first. Then address. This one, uh, make it as name two. We, we give it as name one. Then uh, the venue is the same. Then for example, the Okay, so assuming you also wanted to replace this one, the name uh, three, then position two. So for example, so what we're going to do is, uh, right now is to create a new list. So create. Then, as you can see here, we have an automatic uh, type, no type of uh, entry. So we have title, first name, last name, company, address, and so on. So how about if we wanted to edit this one? Okay. So just click new entry or delete entry. Or if you want to create your own, Click Customize Columns. Okay. So as you can see here, what field or what list we want to use? So as what we have here, we have name one. So what we're going to do is just, since we, we don't need title, so delete. Uh, name, uh, instead of name, we rename uh, this one as name one. Okay, for the position, so you rename position for the company or their company or institution is still okay. But if you want to make it as institution because we know that we are going to create letter for a school. Then for the address, we just simply make as address. Rename. So instead of address one, address line one, line two, just simply click address. Then uh, since we do not need this one, so delete. City, no need, delete. State.
country because we are uh, writing in the Philippines. No need for us to indicate. But if you want to add a home or work a uh, work phone number, still okay. I think we need to have this one, the address, uh, the email address. Okay, then we have already the name one, position, institution, address. Then we need to have a name two, right? So click for name two. Add. As you can see, we have add, delete, and rename here. And we have also name three for the letter sender. So name three. Add. Then the position of the sender. Position one. Or two rather. Okay. Okay. So if we're done already, click OK. Okay. So then it's time for us to indicate the database or the content. So as what we have here, we have the name, the position, the institution, address, name two, name three, position two, and email address. So for example, first name. <coughs> Uh -huh. John Santos position for example is Dean institution for example uh, World City Colleges Antipolo AC so of course address is Antipolo City the name, name to, of course, Dr. Santos, because we're replacing this one to this, uh, their name to. The name three, the letter sender, for example, is the position president, and the email address, for example, Com. So add new entry because we are creating a database. We are creating a recipient list. <clears throat> then for example, that is BPAA or Vice President for Academic Affairs. Example, uh, St. Felicity College. Apple Apateros. Dr. Salonga. We just created ano, at least five. Dr. Salonga. For example, the letter sender is Dr. Rolando Lansigan. Uh, for example, uh, CEO. Uh, R L Gmail dot com. Then add new entry. Doctor uh, For example, a. Uh, President, assuming a holy face, university, Rizal, Dr. D. Guzman, The letter, the letter center, for example, is uh, Professor Boogie Boydon. President is La CEO, for example, the position. The 
This will be his email address. So we're going to create at least five records. Double the position is uh, college dean. Sample is St. Mary University. As Paul is uh, Baguio City. Dr. Cruz. The letter sender, for example, is Dr. Neil Balba. President. Address, for example, neil at gmail.com. Last one. New entry. Uh, another common surname. Santos. For example, B9. Um, position, for example, a program head. School, for example, is uh, St. Paul Academy. For example, location is Mindanao. Salutation for Dr. Binay. The letter sender is, uh, for example, Dr. Joaquin Santos. Conference chair. Santos at gmail.com. Okay. Actually, uh, if we have already a, a previous uh, recipient names or recipient information, so it's that uh, we are not going to create a new one, but since this will be our first time, so we need to input a data for it. Now, after uh, inputting our in uh, data, so cl click OK. Then as you, as you can see here, we're going to save our data source. So save as mailing list. Then save. Then if you want to uh, to sort, to filter, to duplicate, to find recipient, to validate address, you can do it. Okay? So for example, you mistype the name or the surname or even the address, you are allowed to retype again. But if it's uh, if the list is okay, click okay. So this time, you have a currently, uh, you, you are, you have now your recipient. So what you're going to do is next step three, write your letter. So we have a letter already, right?
So we have five records, right? So what we're going to do since we have it already, highlight this one, for example, then you just insert, no? So insert this one as name one. The position. Position. Automatically, as you can see here, then for the position, institution, then for address, insert field, of course, the address, for the name to, insert field name to, Then for name three, then for position. So based on our letter, we have a email address, right? So for email address, email address. Okay, so if you're done it already, you are able to see the changes. So I will make it a... For you to see the changes. Now what we're going to do. Okay. So this time you are, you are now able to print. Okay. So you just print this one. Then if you wanted to see all those letters, as what we have here, we have... Uh, we are already in the number five. But if you want to see the number four, as you can see automatically changes, okay? Automatically change. So this will be your number one, print. Number two, print. Number three, print. Number four, print. Number five, print. If you have several, no, if you have several uh, letters to send and to print, use mail merge, okay? This will be the use of mail merge. So if you want to see the record uh, four, uh, one, then two, three. As you, as you can see here, it is automatically changed the name, the position, the university, of course, the location, the signatory, the email, and of course, the position of the sender by just simply clicking this one. Okay? So do you have any questions so far? And that's it for today. So I will make it. I know I will make it big for you to appreciate. So just click again. Sorry. What happened? Okay. So as you can see here, if I were going to run, so just click. So yeah, print another information. Print and so on. And that's it for today. This is the mail merge. So actually, if you have a records already, no? we, we created a table a while ago, right? So if you have a table already, a list of your target recipient for every uh, letters. No? So for example, you have a monthly seminars and you wanted to send a letter or to print a letter, you can do this one. 